In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to update Malamine cabinetry so that you can have a brand new, beautiful, fresh look. I'm going to show you the tools that you need and the step-by-steps to follow. My name is Jenny Lin, creator of Fusion Mineral Paint. Join me and follow along. Malamine cabinetry is so popular out there and it is one of the trickiest surfaces to paint. But don't worry, I have a solution for you. When you're prepping your cabinets with melamine or thermofoil coating on them, you want to make sure that you clean them very, very well with our TSP solution. You want to wash them down and remove any grease or dirt from them. And then you want to do one to two coats of our Ultra Grip. Ultra Grip is what makes painting the impossible possible. So you need that when you're working on a melamine type surface or a thermofoil type surface. That is this type of cabinet in particular here. I purchased this one from Ikea and you can see how incredibly shiny it is. So this is a perfect candidate for using the Ultra Grip on there. I applied one coat of Ultra Grip and I let it sit for 12 hours. Sometimes when you use Ultra Grip, you can create a bit of texture. So it's really important that you apply it either using a sponge or a synthetic bristle brush and apply a very, very thin amount, or you may end up seeing some brush strokes or some texture from it. So our first step, now that it has had a chance to dry for about 12 hours, is to paint our midnight blue color on there. So I love midnight blue because it is just a really rich, deep color. I'm going to be using my two inch synthetic bristle brush and I really like this one for cabinetry that has not too many deep lines like a shaker style but something a little bit lighter because it applies on really beautifully and nicely and I don't get brush strokes from it. So when you're trying to get a really smooth flawless finish your tools are absolutely key. Again this is our two inch synthetic angled bristle brush. I'm just going to get into the grooves here. You want to apply one coat, let it dry. And if you think you need a second coat, you want to give it about four to six hours on cabinetry so that it really has a great chance to adhere and dry really, really well, especially because it is a melamine or thermofoil type surface. Those are very difficult surfaces to paint. And we applied our ultra grip on it. Let that sit for a full 12 hours and then we put our paint on it. You always want to go in the direction, one direction on each panel and not see start and stop marks. Now I can see a little bit through this finish, so I will have to come back and do a second coat. There we go. I'm happy with my first coat. I'm going to step away from this for about four to six hours, let it dry, and then I'm going to come back and put a second coat on it. And then we'll talk about top coats for finishing. We started off with a outdated gray cabinet and I really wanted to give it a pristine rich look. I used midnight blue and I applied two coats to get a solid pristine finish. Now sometimes with kitchen cabinetry if you want to add an additional layer of protection we do recommend that you can use a top coat if you like. If not and you get uh, some marks on there, some fingerprints, you can always wash that off with water because it is waterproof. But I always use the nail polish analogy. If you add a top coat, is it going to hurt your nail, your nail polish finish? No, it's not. Will it potentially make it last a little bit longer? Sure, it could. Now with dark colors, we do not recommend that you use our clear water-based tough coat. Water-based coatings are notorious for potentially going hazy over top of dark finishes because the moisture gets trapped within the coating and that is what you're seeing as a haze. So what we do recommend is using our stain and finishing oil in the natural color. So I've opened this up. It's always a good idea to give it a stir so that all of the beautiful resins that are in there are uniform throughout. Now this is a clear finish. And it does go a little bit yellow over time, which is why we don't recommend that you use this on a white color, but you can use it on any sort of mid-tone or dark colors. For this, I'm simply going to just pour it on and take a lint-free cloth and wipe it around. 
Applying this is very, very easy. It is probably one of the easiest finishes that you can apply. It does have a slight odor to it because it is an oil-based finish. However, it is just a mild odor and I'm quite sensitive to smells, so I'm actually okay to work with this, but always a good idea to work with a well-ventilated area, have the windows open, there we go. And you wanna make sure that you are using a lint-free application so that way you don't have any lint sticking to your piece. All you need is one coat on there. It increases the sheen, it increases the overall durability. Even though Fusion has that built-in top coat when you're working on a very, very heavily used surface, it's a great idea to potentially add an additional layer of protection. This is gonna ensure that your kitchen cabinets are going to withstand many, many, many years of wear and tear. I hope that you've enjoyed all of these tips.